Hey everybody, welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Got a few snacks on the uh, table here. I figured we'd just do, uh, you know, what we've got and uh, see if it's, if it's any good. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a little liquid. Um, I, I hear if you uh, say anything regarding sparkling water, Andrew Tate appears, so don't say it too loud. Anyway, isn't that a YouTube phenomenon at this point in, uh, in YouTube lore? So we have Celsius, uh, sparkling water, uh, strawberry lemonade or sparkling strawberry lemonade here. Um, I do love the claims. Essential energy accelerates metabolism and burns body fat with zero sugar. <laughs> I'm a little leery of that kind of stuff. So uh, in the comments, let me know, are you uh, sparkling water fans? Sometimes it's okay. I, I do enjoy carbonation. I, I always have. I think that that's fairly consistent there. So carbonated filtered water, citric acid, vegetable juice, they say color. So I don't know if they're using the vegetable juice strictly for color, natural flavor, and uh, sucralose. The, the lettering is, is like really close together. I really had to look at that. Uh, oh, okay, so 200 milligrams of total caffeine per serving, of which there is one, so 200. Okay, cool, cool. Let's pop her open and uh, see if this is any any good. Bottoms up. Eh, decent smell. Definitely smells of strawberry. Oh, okay. That's actually very pleasant. No sugar, huh? Huh, 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 huh. Green tea leaf extract. Okay, okay, I see. Guarana. Oh my goodness, guarana extract. That's always fun. That was, uh, you guys remember Sobe? I mean, I guess they're still around, but they used to make one. It was like a berry flavored, uh, you know, drink. And uh, that one was my favorite. And that was the big guarana and like, uh, was it taurine or something like that push? Hmm. It's actually pretty good. Definitely get a good uh, strawberry flavor. I don't know about the lemonade as much, but very much strawberry. Actually not bad and tastes relatively sweet too. So yeah, that's, that's pretty darn good. I might try more of those in the future. All right, moving on. We have the cutest little matzo bites. Eat something, you look skinny. <laughs> Cinnamon sugared, okay. And this Matzo Project, I guess is their company name. Very interesting stuff there. Nine total calories in this package. Okay, let's go ahead and open her up here and, uh, and just struggle with the package, I guess. There we go. And see what they look like. Oh, look at that. They kind of look like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch, no? Interesting, huh? They have the consistency of an oyster cracker, which I love oyster crackers. They're, I'll just munch on oyster crackers with hot sauce all the time. Um, so consistency of an oyster cracker, decent crunch. Cinnamon sugar is there, but not very much. Um, kind of just falls off the surface of this little cracker, but they're pretty good. Um, I could devour a little baggy of those and feel nothing for it. So not bad, not bad. I, I, I would, I would, yeah, I would recommend that. But if you're looking for a real kick of cinnamon sugar, probably not exactly what you're looking for. Moving on, Blake's Seed Based. Got a birthday cake Rice Krispie Treat. I love Rice Krispie Treats. As a matter of fact, when I got this in the cooking panda box, it also had sprinkles in it, if I'm remembering correctly, and I made sprinkled Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, I love Rice Krispie Treats. They're like a fun treat, but if you make a pan, you have to make them for like an occasion, so people eat them so you don't wind up eating an entire pan, because that's not what we want to do. <laughs> so we've got flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, sprinkles, and sunflower seeds. Are they counting sprinkles as, a, as like a seed? Uh, I doubt it. All right, ingredients list. Yeah, nothing crazy there. 
<laughs> this is funny. 90 calories in this one little tiny bar, the same 90 calories that are in the little matzo treats. So interesting. It's fun. It's fun how calories migrate like that. Okay. That's an interesting cut on there. Yeah, definitely packed a lot of other stuff. Not quite as, you know, marshmallowy as you would see maybe from a normal Rice Krispie treat. Down the hatch. Does this have fake sugar in it? Or monk's fruit? I swear to God. Okay. So you do have brown sugar, spirulina extract, uh-huh. Okay. Carnauba wax. That's what I'm going to be uh, waxing my floors with here before too long, or it's a carnauba based product. Yeah, I can spirulina. Interesting. Beet juice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's very sweet. Almost kind of in a realm of sickly sweet. It does not taste like a, like a Rice Krispie treat. It's like, <clears throat> there's no marshmallow component there. And there's, you know, Rice Krispie treat is butter and marshmallows, <laughs> you know, with Rice Krispie cereal. This isn't bad, um, <clears throat> but tastes a little too sweet for me. Uh, and, and it's fine. It's fine. It's a very small bar. So like compact 90 calories, not too bad. But anyway, if any of you have tried any of the snacks we had on the channel today, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on them. Love hearing from you. <clears throat> and leave me suggestions for uh, future videos. Again, I, I do like hearing, you know, some of your favorite snacks and everything. Leave them in the comments. If you'd like to send anything in to be reviewed on the channel, PO Box is in the description. The Patreon link is also down there as well. If you'd like to support the channel, don't have to, but it's there. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.